I want to get some perspective now from Dr. Mustafa Barghouti, a member of the Palestinian Parliament and leader of the Palestinian National Initiative, which advocates for the end of Israeli occupation, uh, a well-known face here on the show. Dr. Barghouti, welcome back to the show. Uh, let me pick up from what we have, with what we have been hearing, concerns from the United States uh, and others of um, these weekly daily almost skirmishes between Hezbollah and Israel uh, and the concern that really were just one miscalculation away. You are in Beirut, in Lebanon. How do you assess the, this current moment between these two foes? Well, in my opinion, uh, Mr. Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, is one more time driving the situation and the whole region into a very dangerous path. Uh, as a matter of fact, already there is uh, some sort of a uh, low-grade war going on on the south of Lebanon. Uh, so many villages, by the way, have already been destroyed. Uh, I think most of the images are coming from Gaza. Uh, but, uh, but in reality, I saw some images of the, of the villages in the south of Lebanon. They're uh, terribly destroyed in the same manner as in Gaza. So the situation is very dire. And I think uh, there are two possibilities here. One is that uh, Netanyahu continues the war in Gaza, regardless of the UN Security Council resolution, regardless of the proposal by President Biden, in which case the escalation on the Northern Front will happen. And, and that is very dangerous for, for everybody, including Israelis. Uh, the other path is that Israel will listen to all the uh, decisions and resolutions and stop the war on Gaza, in which case the Lebanese front will immediately go into peace. Not but he hasn't the listened, Mr. The Dr. Mugati, he hasn't been listening. He hasn't been listening to the United States. He hasn't been listening to allies. So is the, the, the first scenario the most likely, you think? I, I think it depends on how much pressure could be exercised now on yeah. Netanyahu. Netanyahu realizes that the end of the war in Gaza will be the, the end of his political career. And that's why in, in the, this is the first time we see Israel behaving in this manner, in such an unwise manner, because the main leader in Israel is uh, running the, the show and running the war out of his own personal interest ra rather than the interest of his people, at least. So in reality, we are facing a very dangerous government now, mm. uh, especially that he has two really fascist ministers in his governments, like Smotrich and Bingvir, who are pushing him hard all the time. Bingvir just declared that Netanyahu should uh, occupy all of Gaza and then yeah. push out all the people, ethnically cleanse Gaza. This is Let's... an Israeli minister declaring that. 